then look at the impact of that. Some people later on saw what other people had written about it, and they hadn't been at folk life, but they heard about it on the news, and they would draw a little piece of art. And just to see the way that people that might never meet would still connect over something that they had created together then. So it was, it was picturing the greater web of everybody's connectivity and actually being able to put a physical object behind strange connections that people would never find otherwise. That, that somebody that I met in Seattle drew a collaborative picture with somebody that I met down here that continued it when I was on the road to somewhere else. You know, it just, it, it grows. It grows like that. And it's a snowball effect. Nice. That all creativity, once you put it out there, it just keeps going. And the more that you can convince others to create, the more creation there is. And, and just to convince people to take the time for themselves, that whatever they have input-wise, passion-wise, creativity-wise, whether it be a stick figure hitting another stick figure on the head, or a penis. I've gotten lots of people to draw me penises and boobs and be like, ho, 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 and I'm like, no, thank you. Seriously, for taking the time, and not being ashamed of it, not hiding it in the toilets, like, putting it out there. Because, of course, the human form is, like, what we find most beautiful. And so everybody wants to express that from somebody who's able to paint the most vivid still life of a nude model with oranges and a watermelon nearby to the dude who's drawn boobs in your local toilet. Like, everybody wants to have their input out there. And I want to convince people that everybody's input is valid. Because that's the only way that mine gets to be valid, too. And I think that it is. And so that's what drives my passion. Like, when you came to my art show and you brought something creative and I got to put it on the wall with everybody else's creative stuff and it just glows and it sends out that energy and it puts, like you were saying, when you strike the ocean in a, in a positive way, the ripple effect. I'm looking for those little ripples of creativity that sew us all together in a strange, fascinating little way. So, very long. <laughs> That's a very good answer. So, so people, fans watching out there, are please make a random act of art. It doesn't have to take any more than 30 seconds. It could take a whole lifetime, but make something for yourself today and every day. <laughs> Even if it's something like this, yeah. like the, the, the Clitosaurus Rex versus the Dicosauri, you know? It, it's still valid. Always. <laughs> and by the way, we're going to have, um, we're going to have uh, examples of Marina's uh, art. Oh, it's not a lot. On our interview here, you know, so please enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> I like to show people my in-progress work, too, you know, yeah. like some of the pieces. You get to see them in this incarnation, and the next time I paint on them, there'll be something completely different or just a, a, a growth, and that's what art is. Art is growth. If you take the time to express a passion, and I'm not just talking about painting. I mean, yeah, getting someone to doodle with me is, like, really awesome and fun, and you always get great, great conversation, but food is an art. Yeah. Creating a wonderful meal for someone you love, that's a wonderful express, expression of a passionate art form. Sing a song, even if it's just in the shower, to yourself, you know? Yeah. Singing yeah. is an art form. It's all art. Zen, man, life is art. But when you get too bogged down in life, you don't necessarily look outside for new forms of art. That's true. Uh, let's see. Well, what else can I? What else can I possibly ask? You? Oh, okay. do I get to ask you? Oh, yes, questions? yes, you do. You ask. Me. <laughs> Would you rather spend a lifetime as a wheel or a rocking chair? I want to say both, but honestly, seeing as I'm getting more laid back and more mature, I'm getting a little bit. 
But she didn't. And yeah. he was. Yeah. And he, he was a very good guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Alan Rickman is great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your turn. My turn. Your okay. turn. Would you rather spend a lifetime as a cup of tea or a Stanley?
Teasing by some very sad 